Well wishers lined Main Street to meet Lieutenant General Edward Davis and his wife Lorraine on their walk through town after they left the convent for the last time. The outgoing governor stopped at several of Gibraltar's key landmarks along the way, first saying goodbye to Chief Justice Anthony Dudley at the Supreme Court. The walk took the governor past shops and restaurants, past many friends and acquaintances, and even Lord Nelson himself. Lord Nelson. Uh, well, sir, it's an honor. Many of the Rock's school children, among them pupils from the Hebrew School, St. Mary's First School and St. Bernard's Middle School, also came to say a fond goodbye to Lieutenant General Davis and Mrs. Davis and to give them high fives. The governor also said goodbye to the bishop, Carmel Zemit, outside the cathedral. Well, I realize that uh, as a civil servant, he had to go, you know, had no choice. He told me that he would have preferred to stay here. I think he has been an excellent governor. He has mingled with the people. He knows people, you know, and he did a lot of good. You know, people loved him and he loved others. And I think that's the best certificate I can give them, really, you know. Lieutenant General Davis and Lorraine Davis made their way down to the lobby of Parliament, where Gibraltar's ministers, MPs and dignitaries were gathered. The couple were moved to tears at a farewell ceremony held at John McIntosh Square, in particular during a performance by the Gibraltar Youth Choir. They also went on to meet the mayor, John Gonsalves, and his wife, Laura, outside City Hall. I asked Lieutenant General Davis and Mrs. Davis how they felt, especially given the outpouring of affection in town. I suppose I have to pause because there's so many emotions running through. I just settle with love. You know, our love for Gibraltar, our love for the people of Gibraltar, and the fact that so many people came out. And we've experienced that friendship, that warm friendship, since the day we, we got here. But to see, see it, obviously, against the backdrop of leaving, which arriving is always a lot easier than leaving. But yes, I just say love. We've got such a great love for Gibraltar and um, you know, we'll walk away, fly away hopefully tonight and um, we'll just reflect on what a loving, great place Gibraltar is and thank you for giving Lorraine and I your love, Gibraltar. It's meant an awful lot to us and quite frankly changed how we, we Lorraine and I, are uh, uh, and how much we appreciate life because we've, we've got a different perspective on it now having been in Gibraltar. I feel very humbled by the amount of people that have come to say goodbye and the, the depth of feeling, um, and it's reciprocated. Um, it's, it's a sad day, but we're happy because we've had this wonderful opportunity, and we'll be back. We've got, we've got a new family here, and we'll be back. I'm old enough to make a judgment uh, over the last 50 years, and uh, I've been lucky and privileged to meet a lot of the governors, either on a personal capacity or on a private capacity. And I've got to echo what Mr. Kanapa said in a letter to the press. He's the best. Banan, he's the best. The, the relationship that he's established with both the professional and the official people and the man in the street has not been matched by any governor previously. And what strikes me is, is his sincerity. You only, ho you only have to see the man, his, his, his hat torn about leaving us. I've never seen that before. Well, I think Ed Davis has been an extraordinary governor. I think he really has been supportive of the work that we have done. He's been with us at a difficult time. We've seen the result of the Brexit referendum, the negotiations of the withdrawal agreement, the structure of the future relationship being prepared. And look, a governor today does not have executive involvement in those issues, but he gives support to Gibraltar in the relationship with the United Kingdom, in particular with the Foreign Office, who are the lead department responsible for Gibraltar, who are responsible for the appointment of a governor. And therefore, we could not have asked for a better appointment for this difficult period. He's a man who I regard as a friend and a brother and very much a part of the work that I have been able to do. Well, I think you've seen both in the uh, presence that there's been, the public presence has been today, and the testament that people have commented on in letters to the Chronicle and so on, that he's been a very popular governor. I think he's been an excellent governor for Gibraltar, and, and in the way that he's performed his duties, it, he's taken Gibraltar to, his, to it, it's his heart, 
and uh, the people have done so likewise. I think it's a very sad day for Gibraltar. Clearly he's been a very popular governor. He's been extremely loyal and friendly and accessible to Gibraltar and the, the community in general. He's defended our interests outside of Gibraltar, within Gibraltar. And I think people have felt very comfortable and very close to him. So we owe him a huge debt of gratitude for the connection that he has forged with many members of our community. And we can only thank him and wish him the best of luck for the future. This is the nature of, of the tenures that they come and go and some make closer connections than others and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Davis have, have held a very special place in the hearts of many Gibraltarians. So thank you to them and very much wish them good luck for their future. After the ceremony at Parliament, the Piazza and City Hall, the Governor and his wife continued their walk down Main Street where they were greeted by yet more people of all ages who turned out to say goodbye.